The Kirk Holden War was a struggle against the Ku Klux Klan in the state of North Carolina in 1870. The Klan was using intimidation to prevent recently freed slaves from exercising their right to vote. Republican Governor William W. Holden hired Colonel George Washington Kirk to handle the matter. He also suspended the writ of habeas corpus, and imposed martial law in Caswell and Alamance counties in response. <laughs> <laughs> Background On February 26, 1870, Wyatt Outlaw, the African-American town commissioner and constable of Graham, was lynched in Alamance County by the Klan. On May 21, 1870 John W. Stevens, a white, Confederate, Republican state senator popular with blacks, was murdered by the Ku Klux Klan in the Caswell County Courthouse. On July 8, 1870, Governor Holden declared the two counties to be in a state of insurrection. Colonel George Kirk was brought in to restore order. Holden suspended the writ of habeas corpus and imposed martial law in Caswell and Alamance counties to help Kirk in his efforts. The war Governor Holden ordered Kirk to assemble a force and march on the city of Yanceyville. Kirk gathered some 300 volunteers and marched on the city in early July. Soon thereafter, he began arresting men, including some of the most respected citizens of the county, ex-Congressman John Kerr, lawyers Jacob Alson Long and James E. Boyd, Captain Joseph F. Mitchell, Sheriff Jesse C. Griffith, Barzillai Graves, Thomas J. Womack, and Yancey Jones. Kirk made about 100 arrests in a matter of weeks, the Klan retaliated and 30 of its members marched on the small town of Pittsboro, intent on taking it over. Kirk's forces gathered and the Klan pulled back, with Kirk in pursuit. In the forests of Chatham County a bloody battle ensued, though few details are known. After several similar skirmishes the war was over. <laughs> Aftermath Governor Holden disbanded Colonel Kirk's militia in September 1870, and in November ended the state of insurrection in both counties. The men Kirk had arrested demanded his own arrest, and wanted him tried on charges of false imprisonment. The United States Marshal for Tennessee arrested Colonel Kirk and took him to Raleigh. However, he was secretly released and returned home to Tennessee. Governor Holden was impeached, tried, and removed from office in a party line vote not long after the Democrats took control of the North Carolina legislature in the August 1870 election. Two additional charges beyond the six that received the two thirds supermajority required for impeachment only achieved a majority, but Holden nevertheless became the first governor in the U.S. removed from office. On April 12, 2011, the North Carolina State Senate voted unanimously to pardon Governor Holden. See also List of incidents of civil unrest in the United States